I'm Dr. Natalie McKee from Bloomington Normal Audiology, and welcome to I Hear You, where the audiologists of BNA answer your hearing-related questions. Hannah in Pontiac asks, is it okay for a child to go swimming with an ear infection? Maybe. Uh, there are two things you're gonna wanna know before you make that decision. The first one is if it is a middle ear infection or an outer ear infection. And also, number two, uh, how much pain is being experienced. Uh, if it's painful, probably not. You just want to avoid that. With an outer ear infection, you're also probably going to want to avoid it. That means the ear canal itself is infected, and you're really going to want to avoid getting it wet. Um, for infections to go away, it's best for that area to stay dry. Um, sometimes the ear can drain, and you just don't want to complicate matters with an outer ear infection. With a middle ear infection, if there has been no eardrum rupture, which can happen, um, but if it is not ruptured and the pain is manageable for the child and you're swimming in what we would call clean water, so not lake water or pond, that sort of thing, so the water's been treated, um, then it would probably be okay. If you wanted to be extra careful, you could make sure the child wears earplugs to assist in keeping that canal dry and prevent more complications. Um, but one thing you're also gonna wanna make sure of is that even though the pain is manageable out of the water, changing pressure and with their head underwater, that can change that pain level. So they're gonna wanna be careful, no dive bombing off of diving boards and cannonballs and that sort of thing, because you don't, again, wanna make the situation worse. But if they're just gonna be swimming um, and splashing around or at a splash park, splash pad, that sort of thing, um, it is probably safe for those middle ear infections. If there's something that you have to be doing with the water, whether it's swimming lessons or a meet or a family vacation or that sort of thing, you're gonna wanna weigh your options um, for that child just to determine if it is possible for the pain management side of things and also what kind of infection that they have and, and how that treatment plan has been designed before you make a decision. So I hope that helped. If you have more questions, let us know. I'm Dr. Natalie McKee from Bloomington Normal Audiology, and we are here for you.